My chicken. Okay. What is this? Life alert. Now, when I looked in the mailbox, that, I mean, that was sitting in the mail hut. I didn't know what it was, so I brought it up. Hi, sweet huh. boy. Hi, sweet boy. Well, I think we picked it up, I think. Oh, okay. I don't have to do anything there. I just put it in the pot. That goes in that pot. Uh oh, where's the right oh, there here? Wow, we got it. I okay. was efficient for once. And we have 166 Agila 1938. That's got to be Ipswich. It is. Agila Rose. Okay. Uh oh, we're on highlights. Uh oh, that's bad. Yeah, let's wait till we come back. I hope we're off so that... Okay. I'll peek. Oh, we're back. Oh, good. We're frozen. <laughs> the camera's frozen, but we're back. Okay. Dear Carlene, I feel I can use your first name after reading your excellent columns in the Ipswich newspaper. Of course you can use my first name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to write them. Please find the closed donation in honor of George, a great day devoted to his people and notable personality. He recently passed on. We would like no better tribute than a do donation to your efforts. We'd appreciate donation being acknowledged to, et cetera, et cetera. It comes from everyone in the barn and on the property. Well, isn't that nice? Huh, okay, well, I'll put that whole thing in the pot. What, what is the last name or the first name on that? Ann. Okay, Ann H. Okay. Ann E. from Argilla Road. I dropped it on the floor. I'll get it. Okay. And we have another one. Oh shit, Town of Ipswich. <laughs> That's never too encouraging. Town of Ipswich property owner. In accordance with Massachusetts general laws, we're required to collect information regarding the type and number on the property in Ipswich. Please provide number on the property as of January 1st in each category. <laughs> well, we fill out a lot of it. Horses, ponies, miniature horses, donkeys, mules, beef and dairy cattle, goats, sheep, swine, llama, or other. Okay. Well, it's as of January 1st. Do you want to write? It means it was a circle. You want to use that? Okay. I just want to circle it. So okay. It, whoever is doing this as of January 1st. Got it. Um. Okay, uh, screw that up. Um, okay, this is the Kennel Reservation Restoration. We have $9,600. Well, that's a start. The account was closed. I guess we gave up. What the hell happened? I don't know. She transfer transfer banks, maybe. Could be. Whatever. Not my department. Ah. Uh. Oh. And we have Mary Hilliker, Sassy Bell.
There, you can have that one. Thank you. <laughs> and close is a check for 10 chicken bricks, some cash for the fun fun, and some amusing pickers. We're all very excited by the recent ties and the possibility of puppies. We it's, are excited about that. In April. It's been such a long time since we've seen tiny wolflets <laughs> that rejoice. Also, the need for service dogs is great, so the need for puppies with future recipients. Best wishes to all the staff and volunteers. Passy Bell. Wasn't that nice? That's lovely. And that goes there, and this is... Oh, I have to have it back for 10 chicken bricks. Does it say 10 chicken bricks? Yes. Okay. Who pickers? The biggest joke on mankind is that computers are now asking humans to prove that they aren't robots. <laughs> that they aren't robots. <laughs> that oh, is God. ironic, isn't it? That is funny. <laughs> After watching how some people wear their masks, I know why contraceptive fails. <laughs> Oh, weight loss goal. I want to be able to clip my toenails and breathe at the same time. <laughs> Just once, I want a username and password prompt to say, close enough. <laughs> yep. Yeah, if only. Oh, if I am ever on life support, unplug me and plug me back in to see if that works. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. We celebrate last night with a couple of adult beverages. Metamucil and Ensure. <laughs> She's so funny. Oh, they're, those are good. Those She's are good ones. She's so funny. Those are good ones. <laughs> okay. And then we have this one. Get more value. Good. Doing what? I don't know. Don't want to do that. Whoa! Whoa. Dropped it on the floor. I'll put that one back up there. And this is Jan Gerhold, who mailed it on the 17th. Oh, that's not too bad. Today's the 21st. That's not too bad. It's been Thank worse. Thank you. Uh, there we go. Will Farrell, comedian. Before you marry a person, you should first make them use a computer with a slow internet. To see if they really are one. <laughs> Good. Don't be like me, be better than me. <laughs> Do you think I care what younger generation says about me? I will I will wear that fanny pack. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Do you think I care what that younger generation says about me? I'll wear the <laughs> fanny pack. Huh, very good. Okay, we got those taken care of. Then we have this one. Mass Department of Revenue. Oh, great. Oh, what there is. Uh -uh. They're always fun. I know. Mass Department of Revenue. I don't understand this. Release of levy on wages, salary, other income. We demanded payment to the Commonwealth for all wages, salary, or other income as they become payable, belonging to the following taxpayer. Oh, I see. In other words, somebody owes this money and they're not paying it. So the state has put a levy on this person. Oh, boy. I've never heard of them. Oh, yes, I have. Pam. Pam Paul. Aww. She died a long time ago, guys. They're going to have a tough time finding her. Yep. It's okay, Jim. It's okay, Jim, Jim. This has nothing to do with child support. And you're right, it doesn't. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. She apparently died owing $1,900. <laughs> Glad she didn't pay it. <laughs> Good Lord. Good for her. 
Okay. Jim, it's okay. Facility savers. This is a this is that pig stuff. Hi, sweet buddy. Hi, Larky Lou. So Larky Lou. Hi, bud. Huh. See these big things? Don't get out of here. I was just showing her. Let me see. I can't see through you. Yeah, what is it? Uh, I, I don't know, but they have them. They have them collecting maple syrup over at Merida. Oh. And I have seen them on that reusing, not recycling, repurposing. See, look at that. Repurposing oh, had a bunch of them. Oh, is that right? You do look at that repurposing? I haven't. Oh, do that. I've heard you talk about it, oh, but I haven't. Looked. Have a good time. Yes, I have a good time. <laughs> There's a lot of weird stuff on there. <laughs> What is the most peculiar thing you've seen? Is there something that comes to mind right away? There's a bowling alley that they made into tables. Oh, fun. But it's, you know, nice oh, wood. Yeah, beautiful yeah. wood. And definitely a hard yeah. wood. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I did all that. There are no boxes today. Can we hang this up? Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I'll comb my hair tomorrow. I Actually, I have a comb in the car, but it's so dirty that Judy wouldn't let me use it. Because she held it up to the, to the light. <laughs> you couldn't see it. Was Judy here today? Judy was here earlier, yes. She's such a good lady. Ugh. Okay, let's see where we are now. Oh my goodness. I haven't refreshed in a long time, have I? Ugh. Oh, they're doing two dogs at a time. Good. There we are. Okay, Crafter. Oh, uh, Crafter, how cute is that with the, the Mardi Gras beads? STP meal call. Hello, everyone. Sit back and enjoy. Thank you, Crafter. Uh, let You're going the wrong way. I am. Oh, Mary in Winston-Salem. Jamie, Jim Honey loves you. <laughs> He's a good boy. Pretty in purple today. Okay, and then Crafter said, highlights right after the sound is on, of course. Lila May said, we are back. Um, Crafter, why was Bianca at SDP today since Lynn is, is since it's Lynn's day off? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Carla in North Carolina. Do you know why the horse or zebus were locked in the barn all day. A few of us were wondering. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I don't know, a, a, a gap in the fence maybe? Or I, it could be all okay. kinds, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, there we go, dinner for two. Haley's making sure everything's good. Um, Let me see. Okay, UCLA mom, did George, who's Bella's, no. go over the Rainbow Bridge? No, I believe that donation was in memory of, of somebody of, else. Yeah, of someone that that group George. of no, yes. Last I knew, as of day before yesterday, George was fine. Yeah, so, and and still fine and acting and working. Yeah, and he's nine and a half. He's he's such a good boy, Jill. He's a good dog. He is such a good boy. Um, no, to the best of our knowledge. George is doing just great, and I believe that that donation was in the memory of somebody else. Some things, right? Yeah. Okay. There is. Okay. So, Aunt just said There's a that a very dirty camera lens. Yes, it is. Um, they have not been out today. Question mark. Let me see. Um, let me see. Okay. D twenty nine. I did not get my oh. doggy day. I didn't get mine either. In the mail today, and sure did miss it. Um, and I'm just, I just—I was, I was a little late. It's okay, like eight o'clock. But I—I I, I thought I did. <laughs> Things happen. Um, Ancha said you can always find it on the website. Um, and Carla said thanks. Carlene always likes to know if she sends missing it via email. Yes. Okay. Um, Carla, CP. If you get it in your email. <laughs> 
you're getting it from constant contact. And sometimes they do screw up, but sometimes they drop people. Mm. I got mine yesterday, but I didn't get it today. Maybe they don't like me today. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Pay attention, because if you've gotten dropped, you people have to put it back on, because I can't re resubscribe you. Resubscribe. Yeah, I can't do that. You have to do that yourself. Okay. Other than that, okay. did I get the hay today? Carla yeah. wants to know. 90 bales. Which is unbelievable. 90 bales is a lot of hay. It sure is. Well, let me tell you the rest of the story. Janine, going down to Aiken, smart ass that she is, I just heard today that somebody down at Aiken had to pay $50 for a bale of hay. Five zero? Fifty? Five zero. <gasps> for a bale of hay. Janine, you're not taking any horses oh down there. Oh my good lord. <laughs> Oh, wow. Can you imagine? No, I really can't. Oh, my No, I Lord. really can't. That's... Because oh, up here, I mean, I'm doing really well to get them for 10 bucks. Right. Really well. Um, they're in the, in the normal, they're $14, $15. But 20 and 50 I mean, a jeepers. Creepers. That's enormous. It's in a very expensive community that she's in. Very expensive horse community, this Aiken business. Is there Maybe. something special about that hay? Like, no. Hit with fairy dust or something? <laughs> Gold well, there's, dust? There's first, first cut and second cut and third cut. Wow. Yeah, they're all different. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's devastating for someone that has just one or two horses, but for people that have a lot? A lot? I cannot imagine. And you have to feed them. Of course you do. Well, no, I mean, you you put them on a diet or something. Yeah. But you can't do that with a horse because they'll colic and get sick. Oh, good Lord. Good Lord. Okay, Fluffy22. Hello, Carlene, Jamie, and adorable house dogs. How has your day been? It's been busy. So you started this morning with Judy. What did you do? I started at 3 o'clock this morning. Okay. <laughs> and I worked very hard on the year 2022 the checking account to get all the checks entered and all the deposits entered and things like that. This is a, my personal, not service drug project. Right. And I didn't get it to balance yet. <laughs> oh boy. That's a lot of work. It is a lot of That's work. Well, I've, of got, work. I've got 20 and 21 done. Wow. I'm way behind. I've got, I, I paid the money, but I haven't done the paperwork and they're going to get just as bad over the paperwork pretty soon. <laughs> So I better get the paperwork. They're never happy, huh? Yeah. Okay. And then Fluffy said, Carlene, um, she Googled about Supra, S-U-P-R-A, and I was amazed at how gorgeous she was. She is something else. Is she still alive? I don't know. I don't know. Now but she has so many, so many winnings in Europe. I mean, it, it, nobody ever beat her, I don't think. Is Supra from... Czech Republic? Czech Republic, and it's it's Sir Richard's mother. Sir Richard is a beautiful, a beautiful dog. dog. Trip is beautiful. I'm very anxious that the next litter, we try and keep a breeder out of it. We've got to keep our bloodlines going. Right, right. Well, I heard that um, Duke passed all of his screenings, which is great. He passed his screenings. He's got some weird thing on his back legs that I don't, I don't understand, and I, I, nobody showed me the paperwork on it yet. Two golf balls on his hocks. Hmm. You look at them; they're not normal hocks. Yeah. And the problem, the problem I have with veterinarians okaying a dog for being a dog or whatever is it's not the same as a horse. Mm -hmm. You know, and and when we're dealing with balance and with you know structure and strength we got to have a little more we have to have the vets pay a little more attention to the structure and what those bumps are i do not know hmm. i do not know i mean i have heard of a capped hawk on a horse i don't yet know what it is because i've never seen one but i just heard the word right capped hawk but it seems that it would fit they're golf balls yeah look at it you know if you look at him sideways his, the back leg is supposed to straight down. Mm -hmm. He's got a ball instead of straight down. Hmm. It's very weird. So I, I have a problem 
with using Duke until I get a better line on that. I know everybody loves him. They think he's beautiful. He is beautiful. Well, you don't want a whole bunch of crippled dogs either. No. And I don't know. I don't know whether the vets are really looking at the. You know, you take your dog to the vet to say that he's moving for, you know, he's lame or something. And you, they look at him in an eight foot room. They never see the dog move. Right. You don't take it outside and run it up and down like you do a horse. Right. I had a, I had a dog come in from Europe that was crippled. It passed the vet over in, it passed the vet in Europe and it passed the vet oh. here. Do you want to answer? Sure, who is it? I have no idea. Hello. Hi. Anybody? Hi. Anybody there? I'm fine. Who are you? Who's got? I can't hear you. I. I can't. I. I can't understand her. Do you want me to hell with it? No, it's a recording. Hang up. A recording. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Oh, happy Tuesday, fat lady. That what is it? <laughs> And then Fluffy said, good funny cards. We can always use some laughs. Yes, those were really funny. Everyone sends great stuff on them. Yeah. And happy Fat Tuesday. I, doesn't it's say funny. fat ladies. <laughs> it is. It's Fat uh, Tuesday. Well, that's before look, Lent or something. Isn't Correct. It? Lent Tom starts tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Oh. It's, early, it's um, oh. very early this year. And Lila May said, rest in peace, Pam. Yeah, that's for darn sure. That's for darn sure. Um, let's see, where are we going? Okay. Okay, and Anja in the Netherlands. Mail call with Carlene and Jamie and a very curious malarkey. Malarkey is... They were, they're out like a light, all three of them. They must have been running all over. They weren't running all over today. They were in the car for a long time. Were they? They were out at Meredith for five minutes, but yeah. I couldn't let them run. That's, that's an awful lot of dog to let run. Yes, it is. And when, you, when, I'm, when I'm letting them run at Meredith, I'm way back in the field. Right. So I have a chance to call them if they ever get going the wrong direction. But to let him loose in the barnyard with other dogs, you know, made me nervous. So, right, understood. Um, besides, there was a man came up the driveway, in the, uh, that driveway. She, we just dumped the 80, 90 bales on the ground, big pile of hay. And this man came up the driveway and he was afraid of the dogs. So I said, for Christ's sake, put the dogs away. Yeah. We need the man to, right, help, to with, help with the hay. Turns out it was Wallace's father. Oh, Wallace's father is one of the the stone wall builders over there. So he has he showed up to help put the hay away, which is great. Which is great because up to that point Elizabeth was all by herself with oh ninety bells. Oh my gosh! Wow. Elizabeth hangs in there though. She doesn't quit. She's a trooper. She's a, she's a trooper, she's talking to people the whole time, <laughs> mind you, which is really funny. <laughs> But other than that, she gets it done. And you really enjoy talking to Elizabeth because her Scottish accent takes you back. Accent, I like listening to it, but two hours later. Yeah, <laughs> takes you back to your time in Scotland, right? Mm. Okay, so Carla said, we never saw anyone go in there, so we were wondering about hay and water for the barn animals. I don't know. I'm sure I'm there's sure a plan. No, I'm sure there's a plan. <clears throat> I, I tell you what might have happened. There's four bales of hay upstairs, loose on the floor. Yeah. And there are holes up there where I used to push the hay down. Oh, yeah. I didn't I didn't bring down the bales. I just cut the bales up there and put the flakes down through the holes. It's the like holes. the express line. Yeah. <laughs> the holes are about that wide. They're, 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 they, they fit a bale, you know. Yeah. So they may have been shoveling that hay down to get rid of it. That I don't know. That could be. That could be. Okay, so Carla said no one on chat got, got it in email. Um, Anita Fio said that she did not get it. Uh, B. Short in Virginia said she did not get it. Get it. Um, I'll go and check now, and you may get it immediately. I don't know. 
Um, okay, so Crafter wants to know, when you went to pick up the trailer, did you see George? No, but he was sleeping in the house. I said he was fine. Yeah. I didn't yeah. let him alone. Yep, that's good. Okay, and CP New Jersey girl, can you explain uh, what first cut, second cut, hay, et cetera means? Well, the first cut is they, they, they cut it kind of early. It's, it's more inclined to be grassier. Okay. And then if they let it get going and get the buds up and things like that, it'll be a little, I think, a little more stuff to chew, or I don't know. So second cut they're on? Both, they're both fine. Yeah. Uh, first cut is more inclined to be sheep and donkeys and stuff like that. Okay. I think. Okay. I don't know. They, they'll eat it. Okay, Crafter said, Bessie is a Richard pup. Yes, he, yes, that's true. Um, who is a possible breeder? Megan has Maverick intact, who is also a Sir Richard pup. Who's, who's got... Is that Me a, Megan has Maverick. Who's Me which Which Megan? Uh, the Megan that used to be here. Really? Yeah, Maverick is oh. one of May's. Oh, okay. Well, and, that's another one then. Yeah. Um, and then Anja wants to know, is Wallace neutered? And Crafter said, yes, he is. He's so pretty. He is so pretty. Let me see if I missed anything. My mother is watching today. Hi, Annette. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think... Okay, the whiteboard is up. Well done. I believe we are at the end. So you've had your dinner. You had I've chicken. Had my dinner. You had chicken. I'm already a crump. <laughs> <laughs> and you had a long day, so you're probably ready. A long day, I can't. I can't do paperwork with this. Uh, yeah, I've got paper in there. I should be doing, but it doesn't pay to do paperwork when you're stupid. <laughs> well, your day started at 3 o'clock in the morning. I've, I've been at it for, what, 13 hours already. Right, so. right. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think that, I think it's time to uh, go turn on Dr. Paul and put Dr. your feet Paul up. Dr. Paul and put my feet up. Dr. Paul, it's Paul. Paul, okay. Dr. Paul. Actually, there's been an awful lot of zoo stuff on. The zoos. Columbus, Tampa, whatever. There's an elephant that has a broken toenail. Ooh. This is just a tiny little hole, but they have the elephant put his foot up so that they can treat this. It's oh, it's miracle. <laughs> and then take it down and put it in a, like one of our rubber tubs. Yeah. Of um, antiseptic. Soak, and say they're soak his foot. <laughs> <laughs> it says pedicure. Yeah, they they teach these animals to do stuff like that. Like get in the, get in the crate. Yeah. So they can take him over to the hospital. Or yeah. They, they get in the crate. That's funny. Do you have, um, Cincinnati Zoo has a beautiful zoo too. Yeah, yeah. Has a really nice zoo. Well, I, oh wait, someone is replying. Okay, so going back to CP New Jersey, um, asking about the first and second cut. Um, Cam Op Maisie said, hay is often cut three or more times per season. The first cutting in any cut will have thicker stems, perhaps flowers, usually called a tassel, and is the highest in fiber of any cut. The second cutting is softer, greener, and has a higher protein, but lower fiber than the first cutting. That's interesting. That's it. Oh, two more comments. As well as, new oh, be short in Virginia is saying, hi, Annette. You have a great daughter. <laughs> and Fluffy is saying good night, ladies. Okay, are you done? I'm you're done. ready to go put your feet up? Go ready to put oh. my feet up. Okay. On the heating pad. And your heating pad. Thank you all very much. Have a good evening, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.